recorded. Um, so please uh, put the microphone mute. Um, thank you very much for your cooperation. So today, um, over the couple, um, last couple of days, um, Mimaki has been introducing and sending, uh, you know, a few 10, 50 or 100 sets of the uh, sample kit with a white and color printing of a UV and latex printer. Uh, Mimaki UV and competitive uh, brand latex printer to our team in Victoria and Queensland, as well as uh, some um, our sales network in New South Wales. So I'd like to today, unfortunately, I'm leaving Japan for a couple of weeks for my family issue uh, for the next couple of weeks. But uh, I'd like to quickly explain in a half hour what this sample kit brings to the market. So you will be able to understand what Mimaki is promoting and doing for our market over the next couple of weeks. Um, Let me turn on turn off the uh, the display sharing, and I'm gonna show you what I have. All right. Uh, last couple of days, um, Mimaki has been distributing a set of print sample and one of a brochure. The one is the window graphic film uh, based on polyester material very thin and very flexible, printed with UV. So it was printed um, from the back side, which is on the printable side. The other side is the adhesive side. So there was a liner on, the liner, liner filming, and we printed on a you know, non-sticky side, color white, over, white overlay. This is print sample uh, done by a HP uh, Hewlett Packard Latex 700W back in Japan, uh, done by a Mimaki headquarter. What it is, is it's the same uh, graphic comparing to what we printed with uh, UV, but it's done by a different type of material. It's a PET film. It's a very, thin, a very thick film because this is a mainly they can get back in Japan. So it's like I you know three times thicker because it's a more heat sensitive. But the price of the uh, material for this window film is probably five times more expensive. It's like twelve hundred dollars per twenty meters roll or something. However, I, let me explain. So it was done. It was printed with a uh, Hewlett Packard uh, Latex 700W printer. White fast, uh, sorry, color fast, then white overlay. It's a 100% uh, white setting of uh, uh, the Onyx BIP software HP edition, right? So we've got two, uh, two pieces of sample in one set. In this sample kit, we also include one page of a brochure, which is printed in printed on uh, 150 GSM, uh, the brochure paper, right? And it gives you the uh, you know the, all the detail, like and what's the benefit and what's not the benefit for an over you know between HP the Hewlett Packard Latex with Mimaki UV. So I'd like to explain. Um, the, the details uh, in this suit. All right, just in case, going back to a HP latex print sample, when you grab the you know, sample came from Mimaki, it looks smart because there is you know, another layer of uh, you know, line, another layer of liner film. So you should be peeling that off in order to see more glossy surface from the back side of the printable side. All right, let me share the display again. All right, this is just a you know, display version of the, uh, the this you know, quick brochure for one page brochure, you know, the Mimaki UV and the Hewlett Packard latex printer. This is how the printer looks like and the quick comparison for color and white uh, printing. So basically, 
Um, we trying to give uh, this set of uh, you know sales tool, you know comparison sample uh, for our channel network and uh, our uh, sales our sales team uh, over next couple of weeks. You know total over fifteen hundred kids. Doesn't matter which state it goes to. So we hopefully that uh, we hoping that the uh, you know one third of our set, which is total of five hundred kids, goes to existing image customer. 500 kids goes to uh, you know one of our competitive uh, Roland DG customer, and another one third of the set, which is another 500 kids, goes to the uh, you know either new customer or in the Hewlett Packard existing customer. So at this moment, I'd like to explore this in a quick comparison. What you can do the same, and what the benefit in Imaki and the HP over the white and uh, white and color printing. The sample, the same artwork, same uh, you know white density setting, right? So printing time for one square meter, the Mimaki UV printer with a very high resolution, 600 by 1200 DPI. It's meant to be high quality printing. You can output uh, one square meter for quarter hour, 15 minutes. So it's uh, you know theoretically, it's a four square meters per hour print speed. And you can do, you know, up to 100% white per two line. So it's a theoretically 200% uh, uh, white printing from lip setting. So maximum density for white uh, white printing. For HP 700W, it's printing six by six DPI. So basically, uh, it's uh, it's meant to be high quality printing from brochure. And the printing speed with a white overlay 100% is uh, about 30 minutes per one square meter. So it's a uh, two square meters an hour about. All right, the big one's uh, you know, biggest difference is uh, in ink usage between UV uh, over the HP latex. So printing for A4 sheet, which is exact this size of uh, you know sample, uh, it uses total of 4.2 cc of ink, 1.2 cc of color, 3.0 3 cc for white, for UV, for latex printing. Again, this is the default setting from uh, Onyx, uh, Onyx uh, HP edition. Uh, ink usage per A4 is about 9 cc, so it's more than double from uh, UV printing to make same density. The CMYK total is 2.6 cc, so which is about uh, double from uh, UV printing. White is about double as well, less, just a little bit less than double. And it also uses the optimizer and overcoat for default setting for printing a PET gross uh, uh, the clear film. So it uses additional 1 cc to make total 9 cc. If you convert to 1 square meter printing, the for white uh, color window graphic film, so Mimaki UV uses 48 cc. The HP Latex uses about uh, three times more, which is 140 cc for printing one square meter window graphics. All right, just to be fair, you know, we all using a default setting for a standard printing speed and uh, profiles. From uh, Mimaki UV, Raster Link 6, and uh, ink consumption is what the uh, Raster Link 6 plus display indicates. And uh, for HP Latex, uh, it's a uh, you know, print OS system displays. During printing, uh, maximum power use for UV printing from Mimaki is 1.4 kW. Uh, Latex 700W uses 5.0 kW. Again, this is a maximum usage of uh, no, maximum the maximum watt usage. So during printing, it can be you know less than you know this number as an average. However, if you convert this to uh, you know CO2 emission level for monthly basis, it makes three times or more than three times differences. So basically, by having you know this window film printing for white, I would like to promote a Mimaki UV printer as a less uh, ecology, sorry, more uh, more ecology, sorry, more ecology and less uh, economical, uh, so more economical. So basically, 
um, the Mimaki is, uh, you know, the more green solution to the, uh, you know, the sustainable uh, development uh, target goal for, you know, globally. So next target is printhead replacement. Since Mimaki UV printer is using a piezoelectronics printhead, so basically the machine has two print heads, and uh, you know the lifetime for two print heads is about four years, right? For usage of the printer, so we combat this as the one print head replacement over two years, right? Uh, HP 700W latex is actually you know, print head is consumable. So it happens, you know, for, uh, you know, daily four to six hours usage, it will happen 25 print heads replacement over two years, right? Not only the cost of the replacement of the head, well, cost of the replacement for head for, uh, one head for Mimaki is about four, four and a half thousand dollars. 25 times head replacement of a UV, uh, the HP latex printer is about you know, four to five thousand dollars for uh, material cost. So not only about the cost of comparison is about the same, but looking at the uh, disposal level of this uh, you know, material is uh, you know, a lot more. So basically, we would like to promote not only what UV printer can do, but you can do exactly the same job for white and color printing over the window graphics. However, you can achieve the same uh, output with three times more ecological, economical, as well as the uh, you know, cost competitive. For the cost analysis, you know, quickly though, our internal uh, research for three years warranty, uh, parts warranty comparison, HP Latex 700W is about uh, $52,000 fully installed. And 800W uh, is about $65,000 fully installed for three years past warranty. For Mimaki <coughs> UCJB 300, it's a $42,000 uh, market price fully installed, uh, comes with uh, an extended two years uh, portal care, which includes uh, all the head, uh, all, all print head replacement, all PM service, all the parts, and all labor uh, to cover three years um, the coverage for the printer breakdown. So not only uh, you know the what the economical what an uh, economical ecological solution the printer uh, hardware investment level of a Mimaki over latex is at least. 30% less for uh, comparing to 700W and almost half uh, comparing to a latex, uh, well, probably 70% less comparing to uh, latex 800W, right? Uh, rest of the time, let me just uh, quickly play the video, YouTube video, which is available you know, from Mimaki USA, which is created by Mimaki Japan headquarters in two months ago, to briefly go over you know, with a music background to explain what's the benefit of a Mimaki UV printer.
Well, everyone, thanks for watching this. And uh, let me just stop uh, recording before we go to a quick question and answer session.